welcome back to the fourth video in the series. Today's video will be about reading. The what? Our brains have evolved to communicate verbally. We only started using text around 3600 BC. So it's actually using text is very, very relatively a new concept in human history. The why? Why do we do this? Reading allowed us to remember without retaining the information in our brains. An early form of memory stick or a computer hard drive. It also became a cheap way of communicating from one person to another, generally the king, to many people, a bit like Twitter is today and Donald Trump, one to many. And the thing to remember why text, well text is cheap, that's the main reason we do it. Text allows the storage of information that can be passed on through generations. Right. So what can we do about it? The reading process, individual letters need to be recognised and these letters are brought together into words. We then split these words into the phonemes, i.e. the sounds they make. These are recognised, or not in our case, depending on how difficult you find this, and put together into meaningful sounds. Each word is recognised and then assembled into a meaningful sentence. These sentences then need to be remembered and transposed into meaningful thought. In a really, really good person, that takes less than 0.1 of a second. For me, a dyslexic person, sometimes that can take 10 seconds. I sometimes have to read, reread, and reread again until I understand the, the meaning of this, these letters and these. Uh, sentences. In a person without dyslexia, as I say, this is very speedy. Question. Can you read a foreign language? Well, I can't. To a person who is dyslexic, reading is akin to reading a foreign language. It's hard and we have memory deficit, uh, which we talked about in the last video. Our memory is a little slower than average when it comes to processing reading of language. How do we solve this? Remember we've evolved to communicate by speaking to each other. So, simple answer, let's get our technologies to speak to us. So why not get some read-write software such as Siri or uh, in an iOS base or read-write gold as an example if you're using uh, a Microsoft based product. Again, you may choose to do this as you become more tired later in the day. I find it easier to use a text reader later in the day when I'm, when I'm becoming more tired. So that's what I do. So I use a Siri on my phone, I use Siri on my computer. And what I do is I put a pair of earphones in and just listen. And when I worked, and I uh, worked regularly in jobs, I used to get it to read emails to me. I then don't miss words out. I then don't mispronounce words. I then understand exactly what somebody's asking me to do. The next video in this series will be reads, rereads, and rereads text again. Mm -hmm.